Welcome to Summon Awesome Games, good looking people, I'm Rob. We are playing Star Wars Rivals on Android and iOS. So, today, today's rival, they're playing, man. They're playing. We're on 38 victories. We will get 155 chips per victory versus their five victories. I hope that person stops playing. My goal here was like, we were 0 0. I did five victories, left it for a bit. Then I saw they started playing, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to bury this person today. I have, like, nothing better to do. I'm just going to try and smash out as many arena battles as I can to kind of, like, put them off of playing, being like, oh, well, there's no point in me playing today. So yeah, I'm hoping it works. I don't want to wake up in the morning when the day ticks over and see that they're on, like, 100 victories or something, because that would be ridiculous, man. That would be insane. Uh, but good news, we now have Luke Skywalker... Jedi in training, there he is. I'll show you his moves. He has the DL-44 pistol, which is just like the uh, the Rebel Soldier. Also health increase, but his special ability is a force jump. He leaps at his target and deals damage in that area with a lightsaber. Then he deals extra weapon damage when he's got low health. Teammates, same thing. Uh, let's have a little read of him here. His rival is Darth Vader, obviously. Description, interrupting his Jedi training with Master Yoda, Luke Skywalker flew to Bespin in an effort to save his companions from the Empire. Unfortunately, it was all a trap set by Darth Vader to capture Luke and bring him before the Emperor. We will chuck Luke into an arena battle, but as you can see, his power is 88, his weapon tier is 2, and his level is 3. He is pathetic right now. He needs some work to be uh, worth a damn. So we'll probably lose our arena battle because of that reason. But we might win. We might win. We got my boy Poe and the Rebel Trooper and the Storm Trooper. We'll have to replace one of them with Luke. We also have Captain Phasma. First Order Commander. So she is a commander. So you see they have different, uh, I don't know, I guess styles of play. Luke is an enforcer. Phasma is a commander. This fella is a gunslinger. So she's worse than Luke right now. She's fresh off the boat. We'll have a look at her description. Uh, Phasma earned a rank that would allow her to oversee battles from the security of a command center, but she prefers to be in the thick of battle, fighting alongside her troops. She believes that true soldiers are forged in the fire of combat. Hopefully we will see that in The Last Jedi. Uh, traits, Armored, First Order, and Leader. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know yet. Does that give her some kind of special immunity to things? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe she can't be stunned or something. We'll find out. Rivals are Poe and Finn. She don't like those dudes too much. She has a chrom Chromium Plated Sun Blast F11D. Rapid Fire Blaster Rifle. Hold down to fire continuously, health, obviously health, get more health, fire blast that does extra damage over time, a persistent blast, enrage when she overheats, her ability damage is increased for a short time, that's, that's pretty cool, so if you overheat your gun, which you usually do, you end up doing that if you're just constantly firing, usually switch to your abilities, so having that's pretty cool, so she'd be a good one to level up. Uh, and we can we have some abilities to spend on her, but we'll wait till she's a higher level before we do that. Let's jump into a battle. We'll jump into an arena battle. We don't have any Bactus, so we can't play any campaign missions. Uh, as you can see, we're rank 11, and that's going to end in the morning for me. And we got... We might be able to make it on the board. We might be able to get into the 1 to 9 range. I just had, you don't get that many Bactas. It's it's terrible. They're like anti bactif They don't want you to have Bactas at all. Uh, but we'll jump, we'll do a, we'll do a battle here. We'll, like I said, we'll take Luke just so I can show you Luke. So I expect to lose this round. All right, we're playing Arc 5, 5, 5, 5, 5. This person's probably gonna smash us. We have Luke on our team. Uh, I didn't actually see what level their dudes were. But uh, usually you can tell. Usually you can tell pretty early on. Alright, their pose seems about average. 
Uh, this is where combat, like I've, I've become pretty good at combat, but I didn't bring my Stormtrooper. He's my main guy. He's my, he's my man. Let's just get Luke going. There we go. That's Luke's ability. He jumps onto the other side and attacks. That's all we wanted to see. That's going to cost us the battle by picking Luke here. Not bringing my Stormtrooper, but I'm, I've got a feeling this guy is uh, this guy's a tough cookie. He, yeah, he's a real tough cookie. Looks like he's put most of his early stage points into his Rebel Trooper and made him a beast of a fighter. Uh, but my tips for battle, which I will show you tomorrow, uh, it's taking a long time to find games at the moment. More consistently finding players, which is good. Not as many bots as when it first, when the game first came out. There's a lot more players playing it now. But it still takes a long time to get to that player. Luke didn't stand a chance there. So they've won 22 points. We didn't get one. Uh, tomorrow I'll show you my battle strategy. So you'll learn how to play Arena better, uh, at least with these early characters that you get. Uh, so what was he? He, was, he wasn't too too far ahead of us. Uh, 674 for his Poe. His Poe is better than mine. And his Rebel Trooper is much better than mine. But I say his Stormtrooper is probably on par with my Stormtrooper. We took Luke, 88 power and <laughs> level 3. He wasn't going to win. We weren't going to win that. Unless we got paired with someone who was equally matched with us. And we could play to outsmart them. We were we were just completely outpowered uh, there, which is the glaring issue with this game. This is where it comes. Like it's still early stages uh, of this game, but it's something that hopefully when there's more players can be improved on. Because right now there's not that many players. It's only out in Australia, and I don't know how many people are playing it. I come across many of the same players, so they're usually either really like overpowered compared to you sometimes you get people on par with you or sometimes you get people way like brand new to the game and you just smash them uh it can i usually beat the people who are the same level as me uh through my tactics it seems like it seems crazy but there's there's actually a bit of strategy to fighting this game which is pretty cool uh but if you come across someone who is just dealing out like double your power there's really no chance, which is the problem. I came across someone who had a Han Solo, uh, the legendary Han Solo. It wasn't an ultimate, it's just a legendary one, which I believe is, he was the uh, Force Awakens one. Uh, yeah, this one. So I came across this one. A power level of 1500. He was insane. It was just, it was brutal. It was brutal. I, I'm not even kidding. Uh, he has this, which I don't... Can we see his abilities in that? Yeah, okay. So he has a blast or something. He fires three perfect shots that deal damage to three targets. It was it was insane. My guys did not stand a chance. So I'm hoping that when we have more players and a bit more variety in the uh, power levels, uh, a bit more of a better spread, that you'll be matched with someone who's equal to you. So it comes down to skill. Rather than getting uh, early days here, not enough players. You fight the overpowered people. The people who are topping the leaderboard, getting the most stuff. Or the people who are sitting at these uh, daily rival things here and grinding away at that, like I did today. And then tomorrow, provided this guy doesn't play, provided he stops playing, I will get 155 chips per victory. Now, I believe that is per victory over him. So it will be 33 times 153 or 155. And then I'll get the credits for that. And then I can go into my store and buy stuff, power up my guys, be ahead of everybody else, and then just keep that, like, distance, keep that massive distance ahead of people and beat them and give them no chance. So we could buy a Captain Phasma, $12.99. Uh, we can buy a Bosk, two Bosks, two layers. I, don't, I think these are reasonably priced for the credits. Especially in these early days, while we have them to spend, we may as well. And then when we actually get the characters, we'll have a whole bunch. Did we get a new character? We did, we got Princess Leia. That's a nice way to end this. We unlocked Princess Leia. Uh, so tomorrow I will show you my battle tactics using these early characters, uh, being the Stormtrooper, the Rebel Trooper, and Poe. Really, it's running around and whittling down. You can beat people who are higher levels than you this is the best part it's whittling down the troopers that back them up and then focusing down the heroes 
So even though they may kill your heroes, you might like lose your three heroes, it doesn't matter. You can still turn the tide of it. If they get the early lead and get to that 15 points, they might be like, ha ha, I've got this, I just could kill their hero once. You've got three heroes to switch between while you pick off a few little troopers and then focus in on their weak, pro- probably already weakened heroes because you'll be attacking them in between and that. Uh, so it's easier for you to kill their heroes while you can juggle between your heroes and stop taking damage and keep them alive. It works pretty well, so I'll show you that tomorrow. We got Princess Leia. She's a legendary character. Not an ultimate Leia. Is there an ultimate Leia? I'm pretty sure it's the best print Leia. Here we go. This is our ultimate Leia. So she should be better than our legendary. But that is for another time. We've now got, well, we got two, four, six, eight heroes in our pool. That's not bad. It means we tick another achievement off the box. I'll take those 10 crystals. I'm saving up. I show what I'm saving up for. Not a Phasma. We've got Phasma now. I want the ultimate crate for 800 or the uh, 650 crystal crate. Only one day to go for that. So if I can make 40 more crystals, which I should be able to do tomorrow uh, when stuff refreshes for me. Because I've got, I've got a few hours, four hours for another crate, ten hours for that. Should be able to just slide in and get that final crate. We will see. Uh, but thank you for watching. This has been Star Wars Rivals. I'm enjoying it. I hope you are giving it a go if you can. And I will see you, hopefully, on the leaderboards of Arena. Gotta, gotta go off a few slots. It means I gotta spend my 12 Bacta that I get in ten hours to do that. Kind of a pain. The Bacta's a problem. The insane amount of power some people have over others is another problem, but it can be fixed. It can always be fixed. Increase the back to rate, a refresh rate uh, of over time, getting one back every half hour or something, or even an hour. I don't mind, but power levels can be fixed by having more players because more variety of levels means you'll be more likely to be matched up with someone on your own power level rather than someone who's super powerful and just cleans the floor with you. Like, we kind of did. We actually kind of... I reckon we... We did get matched with someone who's more, who was stronger than us. They weren't much stronger than us, but they were stronger than us. And we did take Luke. So he, he was not going to stand a chance at all. <laughs>